All right, now for the snow effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint my sky. So I'm getting my brush ready, cleaning it out. I told you guys before, have some salt. So here I have a whole big can of salt. Usually you would pour this into a salt shaker, so you can use a salt shaker, that's fine. You just need to have some salt. All right, so I'm going to use this blue, I think. So I'm gonna start here. I've got a lot of water in my brush here, so I wanna be careful not to start too close to the line. So if you notice, I kinda started away from it and then worked up to it. And I need to have a good amount of water in the paint. So once I fill in most of my, well, less than half of my sky or not most of it, then I'm gonna start pulling this paint closer to the background down here behind everything with some water. Now to get the snow to show up, you have to have contrast in it. So if you wanted to say, oh, it's snowing, the sky is white, no, that's not really gonna work for you. All right, so I'm actually gonna add a little more paint into the sky just to get that darker blue to show. Now that there's some water there, this will kind of want to mix into the water on its own. But again, you might have to use your brush to do that too, so you can see I'm pulling it down as well. Alright, this is where the salt comes into play, okay? So first thing I'm going to do is I want a little bit more water on the paint. So I'm going to clean out my brush. Here, I can see I'm rinsing it out. I am not, however, going to run it over the edge of the bucket. I'm going to take my finger, I'm going to tap my brush, just so a little, little rain fall on there, basically. Okay? A little more water, a little more rain. All right, and I've got to do this while it's still dry. I'm going to take the salt. I like to put it in my hand so I have more control over it. So you might sprinkle some with the salt shaker in your hand. Then I can pinch and I can really place it. So I'm gonna sprinkle it down, mostly on that blue there. And you can see what's happening. Like it already looks like something's kinda, some effect is taking place. So what's happening is the salt is a dehydrant. So what it's going to do is it's going to go onto the paint and it's gonna pull the paint and the water inside of it. So I'm gonna zoom in a little tighter just to make sure you guys, and actually I'll have to move the camera to do this, don't get seasick. But if you look down there, you can see it happening. All right, so what you're gonna to need to do is we will have to let this dry, okay? So we'll leave this, we'll continue working on it later. Um, but just to show you guys a preview, if I go here, I've started doing some marker lines on here, but I left the salt on this one. This one's actually dry because I did it yesterday. But if I take my hand, I'm going to brush the salt off of there by kind of rubbing my hand. And you might be able to just barely see the salt kind of gathering. If I rub it with my hand, it's going to get it unstick from the paper. And then I get that nice snowflake effect from where it pulled the paint and the moisture into it. Okay, and just to show you the salt, you can see it better on the black paper there, so it comes off, okay? So that's where I got my snowflake effect. All right, guys, so you're getting this to this point, and later we'll remove the salt, and then we will talk about adding some work with some lines.